financial advisors, we need to have this talk. I need to get you back to reality. You're being lied to. You're being lied to. I just got off the phone with another consult that was two this week and the same topics came up. One of the topics was, can I be a million dollar producer? Look, this is a very, very tough business. Not everybody's gonna make a million dollars. And a million dollar producer means you'll probably take home 40% of that maybe, 400 grand a year. The chances of you making that are about 1%. Now, let me explain to you the million dollar producers I worked with. I was never a million dollar producer, okay? <clears throat> if you're in this business, a good, a good wage, good income is between 80 and 120 a year. That's what you should be making. More likely, you're probably gonna make about 60 grand. I know you guys don't wanna hear this. I know you don't. But if you can be right around 100 grand a year, that's where you should be as a financial advisor. I knew million dollar producers. One was at Merrill Lynch, downtown Detroit. That office is no longer there. He was a million dollar producer. He produced multiple, multiple millions. He was a member of every country club in town. He had supercars. He had a mansion in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. He was also pushing about 70 years old and was doing it for four or five decades. He had a lot of experience. He was a stockbroker when being a stockbroker was completely different. It was before the internet. He had almost 50 years worth of clients. He started as a kid out of college and that was his only career, was a Merrill Lynch broker. He had connections like you couldn't believe. He was a million dollar producer. He had more con connections than I'll ever have. So that was one example. There's usually one in every region. When I was at the bank, I knew a woman who was a million dollar producer. Her husband was a mutual fund wholesaler. They made a shit ton of money, but she was in, I believe it was the third wealthiest county in America, Oakland County, look it up. She covered two or three branches in Oakland County and she was at a large global bank. She made a million dollars, well, produced a million dollars a year. Now, if you're at a one bank brad, branch in some street corner in America, you're not gonna become a million dollar producer. So you either have to have a network or be at an extremely large deposit-based branch and cover ideally cover multiple large deposit-based branches in extremely wealthy neighborhoods, okay? So maybe if you're downtown Chicago at Chase and you have a couple other satellite offices that you cover, maybe, and you've been there for 10 years, maybe then, if you're in an extremely wealthy neighborhood and you have three branches in that neighborhood, then maybe you can become a million dollar producer after 10 years. But if you're just starting out, you're coming out of college, you're in your 20s, never gonna happen. I can say never, it's not gonna happen, okay? So I wanna bring you down to earth, bring you down to reality. If you're making 60 grand, you're doing okay. If you're making 80 to 100, that's pretty much where you should be. So like I always say, how many connections do you have and what neighborhood are you in? Are you in just a blue collar neighborhood that people are struggling to get by? You're not gonna make a million dollars there. I'm sorry, I wanna be real with you guys. So location and network, if you want to become a million dollar producer and time, experience, how long have you been in that location? Do they know you in that neighborhood? Do they know you in that community? Are you trusted? What network do you have? Are you a membership? Are you a member of country clubs, other kind of gyms, organizations, activities? That's really how you get to it over a long, long period of time. So hate to burst your bubble, guys, but I wanted to make this short video and let you know. So thanks a lot. Email me below. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Don't forget to like. Thanks.